Whoa! Whoa! You are a naughty little crocodile. Little baby! Oh my god! Oh, it's meant to be. Let's go. Let's see if. Oh, there we go. He thinks that uh, that's gonna work. Oh, and it did. Look at that snake. That is such a vibrant looking animal. How cool is that? Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh, hello. Whoa! Wow. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my wildlife. I am currently on my way to South Florida to go to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch because he's got an animal that's joined the family. We're going to go down and pick him up today. I'm with my volunteer, Mason. So like, Ma that's Mason. All right, let the road trip begin. We got a two-hour drive all the way down to Southwest Ranches down in Florida. I'm going to put his address right on the bottom of the screen so you can go visit him at random times of the day. He loves that. All right, I'll give you guys one hint. The animal makes this sound. <laughs> guys, we made it over to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Say what's up, Blake. What's up? How you guys doing? Oh, my God. Such a cute little baby otter. You got a little boy right here. So Blake is nice enough to actually give me an otter to take back home to the facility. He's got an extra little baby from his pair of otters, and we're gonna raise this little guy up. Oh, little baby! Oh my god! We're twenty-two. Four twenty. Four twenty. Yeah. Four twenty-two. There you go. Perfect number. The perfect otter. Four twenty. Oh. <laughs> It's meant to be. What a little champion. All right, guys, comment below. What should we name this otter? I'm already thinking of some names. Kaido, Bandit, Oscar. You comment below. Maybe even name it Blake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Kaido. Thank you so much, Blake. No problem, for my, bro. For my new baby otter. Call me if anything. I will. Definitely. I'm just going to call you late at night. Wanna come? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's got that dog in him. Also, right before I leave, Blake's got this big cactus plant that's great for tortoises to eat. So if you guys want, it's right off the main road. You can steal some too. Woo, Miss Toothy and Aries are looking thick after eating all that food, but we're not gonna be feeding them right now. We're gonna be feeding Nadia, the Siamese crocodile, my beautiful Asian croc. We got some rats for her right here. We're gonna go in there and give her some food. All right. Nadia, you want some food? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, you're really nuts today. Easy, mama, easy, easy. Hey, hey, what are you doing chasing Mason? Have a rat. There you go, it's right next to your face. You gonna eat it? There you go, mama. Beautiful crocodile. Even though she's only around like five plus feet long, she is a dangerous sized croc to work with. Very fast, very athletic, and very hungry. Isn't that right, baby? You want some more rats? Uh oh, uh oh, whoa, whoa, there you go, mama. Are you on top of the other rat? You're gonna have to move in a second. What is that other rat? Can you move? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> is it, oh, it's under her belly. Okay, we're gonna have to distract her a little bit. Nadia, Nadia, come on, <laughs> you gotta rat your throat. Uh oh, there we go. A little bit of peekaboo with Nadia. You want this? Huh? Easy, easy. Whoa! You are a naughty little crocodile, but you're beautiful too. I love you. All right, let's go see Guapo the Cuban croc and all the Americans. Woo! Whoa! Uh oh, uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> You're very beautiful. Ooh, and Aries is looking beautiful. As you can see, he's just basking right now, digesting all that piggy ate the other day with his girlfriend. And I can't forget to show off my beautiful girl, Bridget, the broad snouted caiman. She's doing really good, getting really big and always ready to eat. Bridget, come on, you're not a vegetarian. There you go. Gorgeous looking broad snouted caiman from South America, like Brazil and Argentina. And she loves to eat her rats. Huh? Come on, Bridget. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
Look at that, such an awesome animal. Come on, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, guys, we're gonna feed some crocs. We got this beautiful Cuban crocodile guapo you guys haven't seen in a while. Let's get guapo to actually turn around. Come on, guapo. There you go, big boy. Look at this beautiful Cuban crocodile guapo. He's been getting bigger and bigger. He's already like three times bigger than when I first got him. He's doing good. He's gonna be for the future breeding projects with Cuban crocodiles. We're gonna get him a nice female in the future and we're gonna be breeding this critically endangered species from the Zapata swamps of Cuba. You ready, huh? Huh? Come on. He's still swallowing his food. When a rat is real dry, they gotta use some water to rinse it down their throat. It makes it a little bit easier. Come on, Guapo. Whoa, whoa, there you go. He is a beast of a little crocodile. You can see his colors are just so beautiful. The yellows and the blacks, that almost pebble-like skin. They are badass crocodilians. Probably the most athletic crocodilian in the world. Might give him one more rat. I wonder if he can actually fit this down. You ready? Huh? You want it? You want it? Whoa. Come on. Come on. He's not as crazy as he used to be. He's actually a pretty good crocodile. As you guys can see, Kevin's doing pretty good. Just hanging out, enjoying his hide. I really wish you guys could tell how big he is in person because the camera doesn't do it justice. Whenever people come and get tours here at CWW, they always say he's bigger in real life. And he is. His head is like bigger than my fist. He is a massive king cobra. And that's why he's got such a big exhibit. All right, so we got the cake covers right here. I actually have to clean these guys out and separate them before I try to feed them. The female just came out of shed and she's looking really, really pretty. So Cape Cobras are from Africa, and they are the most toxic cobra in Africa, drop for drop when it comes to their venom. You gotta be so careful, because when these guys smell food, they become very dangerous. They're already a sketchy snake, because they like to bite all the inanimate objects, like hooks and cans and stuff, especially this female. This female will bite anything. Beautiful Cape Cobra female. So hopefully in the future, we're gonna be breeding this gorgeous yellow snake. I'm gonna go right here and put her inside this little holding tank with some rats defrosted ready for her to eat. We're just gonna get her right into there. There we go. She knows there's food, so she's gonna go right for it. There we go. All right, now we have to get out this male. He is the lucker. He's so beautiful. This is Mustard, the male yellow cape cobra. How sexy is that snake? Like, look at the speckling all around his face. So I need to clean his enclosure. We're just gonna pop him out for a second and then we'll put him back with a rat after it's nice and clean. Just gonna stick him right inside the holding receptacle. Oh, he's got some shed stuff to his tail right here. Let's see. Should be pretty easy to get off. Just a little bit of a, a bio and a bulk. There we go. He can get the rest off by himself. Just wanna help that little bit. Awesome, what a sexy looking snake, yellow. All right, let me get the shed out of here. You can actually see the shed itself is speckled just like the snake. How cool is that? Awesome. I'm gonna throw this stuff away. I'm gonna get nice and clean. I'll see you guys in a split. Oops, sorry, keep going. All right, so we got two rats to frost it. Oops, <laughs> we have one rat to frost it. Uh, we're gonna stick him right in there so this male cape cobra has a nice meal for him. And now we can stick him back in the enclosure while his girlfriend is separated for the feeding. Let's see, there he is. Not as hectic as taking a mamba out of a can, but these guys, have actually been known to have more toxicity than the black mamba in certain instances. Isn't that amazing? Look at that snake. That is such a vibrant looking animal. How cool is that? And pretty chill for a Cape Cobra. The female, I don't trust at all. The female will bite all over the place. And uh, of course, I'm not gonna have any trust with this guy. I'm just gonna read his body language and use my tools to avoid getting a nip. Because it takes one bite to drop you dead with this species. Just a drop of venom and that should do it. All right, close this up, make sure it's nice and secure, put a lock on that, there we go. And you know what, I'm just gonna put this lid like that and I'm gonna show you guys how the new snouted cover is doing. All right, so the little snouted cover we got a couple months ago, he is growing like crazy. Let's get this hide flipped over. Look at that, beautiful little snouted cobra. He's already probably two to three times bigger than when we first got him, and now you can really see those bands. And as he gets older, he's gonna have nice solid black bands with yellow bands going down his body. And this is one of the larger cobras in Africa. They actually get close to seven to eight feet long, so it's a pretty big snake. Now, I just wanna hold him out with a snake hook for a second, and we're gonna take out his freshly shed skin. As you can see, he did a full shed, no problem, getting nice and big. Hello, oh, oh, hello, oh! <laughs> You're a little cranky snake. Got a nice clean area to go back to. And before you know it, we're gonna have to upgrade him because these snakes get so big and he's so young. He's just gonna keep going through these growing spurts as we feed him more and more. They got such a fast metabolism being in a lapid. Locked and secure, we're gonna put him back and now let's start feeding all the snakes.
All right, beautiful people. We're gonna be feeding the fertile ants. This is the most responsible for bites in Central and South America. There we go. That's a good bite. Look at that face. They have such a big venom yield. You would not want to get bit by a fertile ants. Their venom is so necrotic, it will literally rot your flesh from the inside out. Such a beautiful snake. Let's get that locked and secure. Good to go. Next, we got the Inland Taipan, most venomous snake drop for drop in the world. We're just going to offer them two little rat pups. Nice protein for a snake like this. You can see he's got a nice dark looking head and a lighter colored body, typical of the Taipan. You hungry? Huh? You want that? Take a bite. Come on, take a bite. Ooh, that is a nice strike. Good protein for the Inland Taipan. Get him nice and big. Bigger he is, the easier it will be for me to handle him. So that's good. Let's get a lock on that. Make sure his insulation is proper because this will keep him from squeezing through the cracks just in case, but he's getting so big now, he's gonna start struggling to be able to do that. Just good to have extra security on these cages. All right, we got the beautiful eyelash viper right here, my big female. Let's see if she, oh, there we go. Oh, she bit the tongs a little bit. That's, there we go. Now she's got it. And her boyfriend is hiding. It's gonna be a little more difficult to film him eating. So I'm gonna try to get him some food right now. All right, we got Skittles, the Ethiopian cobra right here. She's always ready for some food. Ooh, she's really cranky. There we go. Grabbing the food right away. That's great. And I'll leave another rat right there next to her so she can eat it. Get nice and big. Now we're gonna be feeding this beautiful monocled cobra. This is my crazy male monocled cobra. He's always willing to be crazy, run around for his food. You hungry? Come on, let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hello. There you go. Beautiful albino monocled cobra named Sunshine. There you go. You want the other rat too? You're gonna have that other rat. All right, let's lock this up. Let's see how my big boy's doing, huh? My beautiful Gila monster, venomous lizards found right here in the US. How cool is that? We're gonna put them right here. Huh? You're gonna get nice and comfy. And we're gonna offer you a nice rat. You want the rat? Come on, have a rat. There you go, my big monster. He's such a good looking boy. And his girlfriend's over there sleeping, so we'll offer her a rat too. Let me go grab her. All right, and then we got his cranky little girlfriend right here, but she's always willing to eat. So we'll give her a rat pup too. Come on, I just said you're always willing to eat. You're not gonna eat? There you go. Bite down, there you go. Come on, there you go. You got it right by the leg. Good meal for her. There you go. I love these lizards. I've actually known these lizards since I was a little kid. Can you guys not eat right on top of each other? There we go, put you right over there. All right, let's close this up. I'll feed them some more once I know how many leftover rat pinks I actually have. So let's put a lock on that. Pearl, Pearl is a very cranky cobra. Always ready to strike out. There we go, you can eat it? Yeah, perfect. Beautiful leucistic monocled cobra. So you saw the albino, that is a leucistic. All white with black and blue eyes, really pretty. I'm gonna put a lock on that, make sure it's nice and secure. All right, so we got the South Americans right here. I'm just gonna move their hide over to the side. And uh, I'm just gonna gently use these grabbers right here to bring out this female and put her right in here where there's already a rat waiting for her. Beautiful South American rattlesnake. It's crazy how much different they look from each other. They're all slightly different in coloration. And now we can deal with her cranky boyfriend. As you can see, he's just looking at us, me mugging us. There we go, beautiful. Sticking those fangs right into the backside of that rat. All right, we're gonna let him be. We have the beautiful Indian cobra, called a spectacled cobra, because on the back of that hood, you see that pair of glasses. That's the species that bit me out in India. I was lucky enough to survive the bite. These guys are in the top four most responsible for bites in India. Woo, you got your Russell's Viper, the Crate, the Indian cobra, and the soft scale Viper. And all those guys are getting real close to people's homes and whatnot to eat rats. And sadly, people get bit, step on them, and sleeping next to them, and rolling over on them. All kinds of things happen where people end up getting nipped by those snakes. Super gnarly, but beautiful animals. All right, next we have what's not a snake, but a green tree monitor lizard. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see this green tree monitor lizard for a while, so we're gonna feed him right now in front of you guys. Hello, you want to wrap up? He'll probably have to rip this thing apart, it's pretty big, but that's a good meal for him. I feed them quail, crickets, uh, worms, all kinds of different stuff. Beautiful animal, green tree monitor lizard from Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. All right, we're gonna throw some food to the mambas. We got Allison hanging out right here. So I gotta be careful because her beautiful boyfriend is actually hiding in that box. So I'm just gonna stick a rat right here. Maybe get her to come over and take a bite. Huh? You wanna take a bite? You coming? You coming? Woo hoo hoo, she just struck at it. 
put some smaller rats right here for her boyfriend. Maybe he'll come out and have a feed. Just a few rats, nothing crazy. We don't wanna, we don't wanna feed them too much. But like I said, the Alapids have a faster metabolism so they can eat food more often and digest it no problem. Whereas something like a Gaboon Viper, yeah, lock it secure. A Gaboon Viper, if you keep feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, you're actually gonna kill it in a very short amount of time because they don't move around too much and their metabolism is that high. Kobe actually just took a strike at that rat right there. What's going on, Kobe? What are you doing? You little sneaky mamba. All right, we got the Uricone rattlesnake right here. Always ready to strike out. So I want to be very careful. My little baby I've been raising since he was the size of a quarter. I'm gonna bite that rat. Bam! Very, uh, very cranky the way you bit that rat. We're gonna close the enclosure up. We're actually gonna be upgrading this Uricone rattlesnake pretty soon to a vision. And then I'm gonna plant up this enclosure some more. And I think we'll put the Gabino in this exhibit. So that's gonna be really cool. All right, beautiful people. We have the puff adder right here. You can see, look at, look at the tail. See what the tail's doing? That's actually a lure mechanism to bring over food. He thinks that uh, that's gonna work. Oh, and it did, he got his food. Look at that. One of the fastest striking snakes in the world, the puff adder, cousin to the Gaboon Viper. Beautiful male puff adder that I've got. Call it a puff adder because they go <laughs> puffing up at you. And their bite is so nasty, it causes infection leading to gangrene, meaning you gotta get your body parts amputated. So they are no joke. Locked and secure. All right, let's feed my yellow anaconda, Mick. Hello, Mick. Whoa, <laughs> Mick, chill, dude. Gotta clean this little spicy meatball while we're at it. Mmm, spicy. Next, my ball python. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, he's got it. Secure. All right, so now we're dealing with the baby blue and Solaris. I know you guys haven't seen these guys in probably like a month or so. Um, the reason is filming them is a pain in the butt because every time I have to deal with them, it is a tedious process, ooh, tedious process of uh, assist feeding in a sense. It's uh, not like force feeding, but it's like poking and prodding to get them to bite down onto a small food item until it gets stuck in their throat and they can't spit it out, and then they're forced to grow and get bigger, and then eventually they'll be able to eat something like a full mouse or something like that. Right now, they're just eating the snouts of pinkies. It is a pain in my butt. So right here, you can see, you've got a little bit of a head of a pinky, not the whole thing, just part of it. What I have to do is poke and prod until this guy bites it, and it gets stuck in his throat. Oh, oh, so close, that was actually great. Come on, oh, oh, come on. Oh, yes, did you, oh, it fell out actually. Have a bite. Oh, yes. So now, hopefully it gets stuck in his throat and he has to swallow it. And we'll have to do this a couple times so he can gain some weight. And that is how you get these tiny little vipers to start growing so they can eventually eat a whole frozen thawed pinky mouse. All right, now I have to get the other one, but the problem is if I make too much movement in front of this guy, he might chuck out that food. So I gotta wait for him to actually swallow that down before making a move to the next guy. Baby Blue and Solaris, AKA Komodo Island Pit Vipers, living on the same island you find Komodo dragons in Southeast Asia. Let me see if I can just get this little guy out with a hook. Got this awesome little hook from Midwest Tongs. They have the best equipment when it comes to handling venomous reptiles and such. Thank you, Andrew, for the wonderful gifts. Yes, it got stuck. All right, a little bit of poke. Oh, yes, there we go. Some food down the hatch. And I cannot say hello to Kevin. What's going on, big guy? Ooh, he's a little active today. What's going on, big guy? World's biggest venomous snake, the king cobra. Ooh, Kevin. <laughs> he's actually coming all the way out. Look how massive he is. He is such a huge king cobra. Like, his size is impressive. You gotta come and get a tour and see this snake in person to really earn a respect for cobras or king cobras being their own species. Okay, I'm sorry. Beautiful boy, look at that. Look him next to my fist. Monster sized King Cobra. Love this guy so much. Oh, hello. Whoa. Sorry, buddy. I'll leave you alone. All right, beautiful people. It's the end of the episode. We're going to take care of our little baby otter. We got a little butt wipes because we actually have to stimulate the otter. When they're babies, you have to get them to poop and pee for you before you feed them every time. Ugh, spicy meatball. Ugh. Good thing he's not eating fish yet. Ugh. A lot of baby mammals you have to stimulate like this. Their parents would do it out in the wild by licking their butt 
getting them. Ugh. I'm sorry, I don't want to do this either, but somebody needs to poop. There you go. Just, oh, it's warm. Let's pee. Oh, yes, I know, I know. There we go, that should be good for now. He pooped in the kennel a little bit too, so he's starting to poop on his own like a big boy, right? So we gotta just wake him up a little bit. He was sleeping. You ready to eat, huh? Such a cute little baby otter. And we got our syringe right here, just gonna guide it right into his mouth. We were feeding him every four hours. There we go. You hungry? You're still sleepy, huh? You're still sleepy, huh? There we go. Ooh, he's slurping it up. What are you doing? You're standing. You're standing. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. Go ahead. There you go. Try not to put too much pressure on. I want him to just drink it on his own. See, he's actually pushing it right now. Like he's sucking it down. So I'm not actually putting really any pressure on that syringe. I don't want him to aspirate. So we're going real slow. Look how cute his little face is. Oh my goodness. He is just such a darling little otter. I am so excited to see this guy grow and get bigger. You like that? You're happy? You're happy little otter? Huh? Good? There you go. Hmm? You gonna finish that? There we go. My man, look how cute he is. What are you done? Oh my God, he's so cute. I love this guy so much. All right, beautiful people, that's gonna be the end for this episode. Now we're still trying to think of a name for this little otter. I'm thinking Kato. I'm also thinking Bandit, Oscar, but comment below. What do you guys think would be a great name for this little boy, Asian small clawed river otter? Look how cute his face is. You got a little something right there, let's clean it. Ooh, ooh. Mm, mm. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, all your dreams. Stay passionate about what you guys love. I love working with wildlife. It is just a little blessing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Feed them every time. Ugh, ugh, spicy meatballs.